block on a cold morning, my socials teacher handed us a crisp, white sheet of paper with the topic choices for our project. The black ink told of treaties and laws, politics and victories. Not one of the 20-something topics mentioned women. My partner and I decided to create our own topic that represented the experiences of women. History is supposed to be a class created to learn about past voices. The lack of discussion on the impact of women and the impacts on women is appalling. We should learn about the impact of women, past and present. We need to look around us and free the isolated voices and unheard stories to better our future. History should be her story as well. We are grade 11 students that don't agree with bottled water being sold in our school. We don't agree with the privatization of a basic human right. This is why we presented our idea to the school board. Our idea to ban this damaging merchandise from our school. Our proposal to ban bottled water was rejected by a male-dominated school board. We were shot down and betrayed by the cruel force of politics. We were lifted away from the grass, from the dirt, from the sky and the trees. Economy, business, greed. They bottled up our voice and sold it in a vending machine. How would this story have ended if there were more female voices on the school board? They tore away my voice. They tore away my voice. I felt, I felt isolated from the decision making that affects my future. My future. We are done studying history. It's time to live her story. Free the isolated voices. Surrounded by concrete structures, in the city I live in a little bubble. Throw junk down the drain. It disappears, never to be seen again buy plastic bottles. Where does the oil come from? We are isolated from the consequences of our actions. Isolated from the creatures suffocating in our plastic. Isolated from the communities sick from our toxic waste. And isolated from the reality that we are abusing Mother Nature. Mother Nature has a story, like history, her story. <laughs>